So this is the first dive of Libu's Voyage and I'm so excited. Up to a couple hours ago, there was not even bathymetry of this site. So excited to see it in high resolution from the mapping and then have the ROVs down here on the seafloor and really reveal for the very first time the biodiversity of this place. It's been years in the making and look at this amazing landscape. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it doesn't want us to see the face. I don't know this one, I don't think. It kind of gets a little spectrunculous y, but I don't know. It doesn't look right. The, the eyes placement on the head is different. We'll have to ask Jeff later. I think the other one that's further afield is Diplocanthopoma. That was really cool. There we go, now we got the face shot. I love it. Wow. So gorgeous. Look how big the pectoral fins are. Do you know how old these fish can get? I don't, but they do live long lives. It's, it looks like it's eyes over a half a meter. Yeah, it's got really pretty eyes. Yeah. It's definitely a cuscule in the family Ophidiidae. Definitely interested in the ROV. Yeah, and maybe a zoo on the lateral line, I think, for ID. Yeah, that'll for help. Nice. It's really good. Really good shot. Is this also going to make Jeff stay? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That was fun. That was, that was <laughs> very nice. <laughs> yeah, really I enjoy that. There. So let's go take a look at the big pink thing um, a little bit shallower. Wow. Now for the big cinematic wow. reveal. We cheat because we have cameras all over the vehicle. But we have a much better oh, situation. We have a awareness. huge of what's coming up. Yeah, yeah. huge basket star on there. Um, so this uh, is a, two basket stars. This is a, a some sea type lily. Of, Multiple sea lilies. Wow. So this is a corallid. Very cool. I want to say Gorgonocephalidae, something like that. For the basket star. For the basket star genus Sounds or right. family. It's a basket star. Basket stars are some of my favorite deep sea creatures. And we got a Camachula crinoid on here too. A whole host. This is a really good example of why we think about corals being quote ecosystem engineers, and that the coral is growing up and you know growing out into the current, and it's um, creating new habitat for all these other organisms to live on. Um, and so they're really dependent on the coral to basically make the apartment building, and then have uh, for all the other organisms to live on them. That's beautiful. This has been a really pretty good dive in terms of biodiversity. And here comes a sea spider, it looks like. This is oh. new for today's dive. This is a pictagonid or sea spider. It's not a true spider. It's, it's not an arachnid or anything, but <laughs> these are predators of generally slightly gelatinous or soft-bodied organisms and it literally walks around on the seafloor until it finds a coral or an anemone or something like that and it just stabs it with a proboscis and then starts drinking it. Wow, uh, that's cool. That's a big spider. Yeah, that's a good at least 20 centimeters, probably closer to 30 across. And the nature of Halloween, we should definitely take a look at this. Very cool. Like Brian said, while it's not a, a true spider, it is I believe in the Chalicerata, which means that it's it's closer to a spider than a crab, and it looks like it's got some sort of parasites hanging off of its legs as well. Very very freaky. It's and this is one of one of the few things down here that actually eats the corals in addition to certain sea stars. Give me nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a good Halloween moment. Sounds like a challenge for someone on the uh, RV team to 3D print one and put it in Dan's bunk. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to do the spider dance. You probably hear me yelling all the way up in the alley. <laughs> all right, science is happy when video is happy. Okay, you're happy, Amber? I'm happy. Okay, you can go away. Video, whenever you're set up over there, you can get a zoom. On it? Yep, on the spider. Giant sea spider. Nice and spooky. They're just all leg. They really are. 
And it goes really well with this uh, S1 clade bamboo coral. Nice. Alright, come on. Beautiful. So this is a Calagorgia, another type of primnoid coral. This is a really big one. There's lots of snake stars. There's another one of those homolid crabs carrying... It looks like it's carrying a piece of, like, Norella or something. Or another okay. one. A different Zoom from there. Noah. Crab style. Yeah. See? The crab's like, oh, look, I'm part of the coral. You can't even tell the difference. I'm not delicious. Now, it looks like these snake stars are Ophiocreus. I say they have very smooth arms. Which are the same genus as the ones that are on the Metallogorge, yeah, but this is a different species. Do you know about the the growth rate of these guys? These, these um, corals? I think these grow a little what, bit faster, see, but I don't know. There, there might be an egg, like an octopus egg sac over oh, there. Oh, yeah. Some, some sort of some oh. thing, feature, white. Is, I like how I'm leaning like I'm going to be able to see <laughs> yeah. that around the corner. <laughs> I think we're all doing that. Nice. <laughs> Squinch your eyes. Oh, maybe it's are. a snail. That's that. Yeah, it looks kind of snail-like, doesn't it? Looks like a shell. A big snail. Uh, or some sort of crab. All right, go what? Too many good things. <laughs> That one's a really pretty Are those, is it one organism? Yeah, this is one organism, and it's branching, uh, pretty like multiple heads. Most of the Caliphagus that we see only have one head. I don't think I've seen one with this many heads on it. Two, three, it's usually four, like, five, six. yeah, there's usually like three or four. There's ten? Yeah, it looks yeah, like ten. Ten heads. It's living a very vibrant five life. Years or something. 